After 13 years, we finally got a teaser for The Incredibles 2. You know, that children's movie that's gonna fill up theaters with a bunch of people in their 20s? The launch of the teaser really kickstarted the countdown to the movie's release in June 2018. So to match the level of excitement in the air, today we're gonna take a look at the best Incredibles 2 fan theories. And if this is your first time on Screen Rant, you can hit that subscribe button and ring the bell if you wanna stay up to date with our videos. So the teaser showed us Jack-Jack for the most part using laser vision, but then confirmed that he still has a bunch of powers. Well, this fan theory goes that the reason that Jack-Jack seems to have so many powers as opposed to the other members of the family who only have one main one, is that he's in a kind of developmental stage, and that essentially his body's trying out all kinds of different powers before it settles on one. So in The Incredibles 2, we might see Jack-Jack lock in on one of the many powers we've seen him demonstrate, or maybe even one we haven't seen yet. If this does turn out to be the case, let us know in the comment section what one power you think he'll end up having. This theory is kind of in the same vein as the last one because it has to do with Jack-Jack's developing powers. Except this theory says it's not gonna end well for anyone. Some fans are speculating that Jack-Jack will either settle into a power that's a threat to the planet, or that his arsenal of powers will keep growing and growing until it becomes a threat to the planet. That's gonna be rough for the family to deal with. And that's why it could make sense that this would be the main storyline that the movie follows. After all, even the teaser showed Mr. Incredible being super happy about Jack-Jack having power so it's probably going to be a focal point of the movie. One of the few things we do know about The Incredibles 2 is that story-wise it picks up like minutes after the first one ends. Pixar chief creative officer John Lasseter said in an interview with IGN that quote, it starts right as the first one finishes, so it just carries on. So it seems like there's not gonna be a huge time gap between the movies. Although there was a very, very real one in real life. But some fans are theorizing that although it may be true that the intro scene takes place minutes after the end of the first movie, maybe that'll be followed by a time jump into to the future, and that John Lasseter was kind of trying to misdirect audiences. Based on the interview, it doesn't sound like this is the case, but one argument that fans are making is that the first movie started with showing us something from the past and then having a time jump, and that maybe they'll repeat that structure this time around. This fan theory would actually be helped by a little time jump, but it could work without one. So according to the Pixar wiki, Dash is 10 years old. So he's not yet a teenager, but he's getting pretty close. And one thing we know about teenagers is that a lot of them kinda suck. Don't worry if you're a teenager and you're watching this, I'm probably not talking about you. Anyway, this theory goes that as he enters his teenage years, Dash is gonna be struggling with teenage angst and rebellion. That'll lead to him joining forces with someone as an act of rebellion, but that that person could be someone that tends to harm the family. Just like the Jack-Jack theory, it could be interesting to see the family deal with an internal problem like that. But if the movie does pick up right where the last one ended, he may be too young for that kind of storyline to be plausible. So maybe Violet? Well, that does it for today's quick list. Let us know in the comments section what you thought of these fan theories and what you think will happen in The Incredibles 2. If you're watching this on Facebook, you can hit that link to jump over to YouTube and subscribe. Thanks for watching.